You mentioned burnout. What do the, the sort of signs and symptoms of burnout look like with the people that you, you coach through yeah. career tests? I think there's different stages. So I think we'll start off in that place of, you know, we all want to do well. If you're driven, you will want to kind of like excel. But then it, it moves into that state where it's the progression or the, the movement or the doing is then outweighing just looking after your general self. And you, other people are starting to notice that in you, but you're not ready to accept it or acknowledge it yet. There's that cycle of just general irritability with other people. Maybe you are frustrated with lack of pace, the way that people are doing things, and you're starting to nitpick. And depending on how you exhibit stress, some people go into that kind of fight mode where they're a little bit more micromanaging, over analytical, and then other people will generally slow down. So they might actually completely become desensitized, lean back, very immobile, or move into people pleasing. And so I think when we get into that point as well, we then can suffer from quite a lot of stomach issues, gastrointestinal kind of um, problems. That's when it's often been, the stress has been underlying in the body for quite a while. Okay. And then lots more psychological concerns around loneliness or just, you know, that fear of not being good enough. And then what does that lead to in terms of who am I and what's my place? and to people will people miss me like it it can spiral so i think we can go through lots of different stages and it's just noticing how do i catch myself when i've been pushing too hard or doing yeah. too much and actually not listening to those that can notice these signs before i have perhaps yeah and so if we find ourselves like catching those kind of early warning signs mm. what are the things that we can do to kind of reverse mm. things or remedy things so I think it's definitely noticing like how are you triggered around stress? Like what is causing you to feel out of sorts or to be irritable? You know, some people also have more physical symptoms. So you might be noticing actually if I've constantly got colds and I'm run down or my joints are aching or, you know, like how do we take a moment and pause and think actually what might have been going on in the way that I'm eating? or the way that I could slow, what can I slow down? What can I start to delegate, let go of? Some people, it might be through memory loss. So what am I filling my brain with? So a lot of people suffer from cognitive symptoms that are a bit more about, you know, forgetfulness or feeling massively overwhelmed all yeah. the time. And, you know, what could you do to create some more white space in your calendar? So moving, I think sometimes we try to move from like deep attention tasks, you know, the stuff that could, we can get through in 90 minutes yeah. and like blitz on that. And then we have more of the kind of open attention stuff, which is emails and stuff like that. But where's the white space in between that, the time to just do nothing, maybe just yeah. to go into nature, just to pause for a second to eat, to just be. I don't think there's enough of that in the calendar for many people. Mm. I think there's also something about the arts, you know, just spent a year doing a therapeutic, arts and educational program and it's looking at how through the art making process our brain changes and kind of helps us to problem solve differently yeah. to disassociate from stress and that could also just be through fitness it could be through going to see something creative but that has the power to help us to relax and to loosen tension and stress Hey friends, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this clip, then click here for the full unedited episode. And if you like that, then do please consider subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.